Welcome to the ACE Pilot Academy. Today we will be learning about pressurization systems. Have you wondered why we don't use oxygen masks when flying at high altitudes? Aircraft are equipped with pressurization systems to allow us to breathe at an atmosphere lower than what we are flying at. Pressurization systems provide a safe and comfortable environment for passengers and crew by pumping air into the sealed cabin capable of containing air in a density higher than the atmospheric pressure outside the aircraft at high altitudes. As altitude increases, the amount of gas molecules in the air for each breath of air decreases as there is less pressure. This means that there is less oxygen in the atmosphere for each breath of air. The lack of oxygen in the human body causes a medical condition called hypoxia and can be fatal. Pressurization of the aircraft cabin is necessary to protect occupants against hypoxia as we can breathe the air comfortably with sufficient oxygen per breath. Multi-engine aircraft use air supplied from each engine's turbocharger through an airflow limiter and air is released from the fuselage by a device called an outflow valve. The outflow valve is controlled by a pressure regulator to help maintain a constant cabin pressure. By regulating the air exit, the outflow valve also allows for a constant inflow of air to the pressurized area, which helps to remove stale air and eliminate odors. The cabin pressure regulator controls cabin pressure to a selected value in the isobaric range and limits cabin pressure to a preset differential value in the differential range. When an aircraft reaches the altitude at which the difference between the pressure inside and outside the cabin is equal to the highest differential pressure for which the fuselage structure is designed, a further increase in aircraft altitude will result in a corresponding increase in cabin altitude. Differential control is used to prevent the maximum differential pressure for which the fuselage was designed from being exceeded. This differential pressure is determined by the structural strength of the cabin and often by the relationship of the cabin size to the probable areas of rupture, such as window areas and doors. The fuselage's ability to withstand a particular maximum cabin differential pressure also limits the operating altitude of the aircraft due to the degree of pressurization it can provide. The cabin air pressure safety valve is a combination pressure relief vacuum relief and dump valve. The pressure relief valve prevents cabin pressure from exceeding a predetermined differential pressure above ambient pressure. The vacuum relief prevents ambient pressure from exceeding cabin pressure by allowing external air to enter the cabin when ambient pressure exceeds cabin pressure. The flight deck control switch actuates the dump valve. Several instruments are used in conjunction with the pressurization controller. The cabin differential pressure gauge indicates the difference between inside and outside pressure. The pilot should monitor this gauge to assure that the cabin does not exceed the maximum allowable differential pressure. A cabin altimeter is also provided as a check on the performance of the system. In some cases, these two instruments are combined into one. A third instrument indicates the cabin rate of climb or descent. While automatic visual and oral warning systems are included in the equipment of all pressurized aircraft, the pilot must be aware of the danger of accidental loss of cabin pressure and be prepared to deal with such an emergency whenever it occurs. Such emergencies include explosive decompression and rapid decompression. These situations can lead to hypoxia or evolved gas decompression sickness if left unresolved. Rapid descent from altitude is necessary in order to minimize these problems. Let us review. Atmospheric pressure decreases with higher altitude, which means less oxygen per breath of air. Hypoxia is the medical condition where there is a lack of oxygen in the body. Aircraft cabins are pressurized to enable comfortable breathing. Air is constantly supplied by the turbocharger in the engine to the cabin. The outflow valve regulates the cabin pressure and cycles the air for fresher air. The cabin pressure regulator controls the system, which is set by the pilot for a differential pressure. The strength of the fuselage affects the maximum differential pressure 
which also affects the operating altitude. The pilot must be aware of the danger of loss of cabin pressure and be prepared to deal with such an emergency. Thanks for joining us at the ACE Pilot Academy. See you next time.